Hello folks and welcome to this month's Hi-Fi News, or should that be news? Because news is always very, very serious indeed, isn't it? And I don't know, I've had an awful lot of news recently, so this could be part one. I might do part two next time round. I've been inundated with news, so let's get straight to it. And first up, we're looking at a Pecan Pie upgrade from Orchard Audio. It's a hamper of hi-fi equipment. So Orchard Audio has announced the release of Peak and Pie DAC Streamer and Streamer Ultra Rev 3.0. The major update for Rev 3.0 devices is the addition of an SPDIF coax input. 3.0 devices also use lower noise linear regulators and give you the option to have RCA outputs built in. The SPDIF input allows the Peak and Pie devices and other devices like Star Crimson Streamer Ultra to operate as a standalone DAC, allowing you to connect them directly to digital transports like CD players, TVs, computers, laptops, and more. The SPDIF input has an automatic switchover that takes audio from the SPDIF connection when there is a valid signal. When no valid signal is available on the SPDIF interface, the device defaults back to streaming. The Peak and Pie Rev 3.0 streamer is priced at $549. And well, I'll put some information about links down below in the description. Next up, we have a sort of built-in hi-fi into your home, into the ceiling, into the wall kind of system from Q Acoustics. This one is called an E120, the E120. And it's an installed wireless audio system for any room in the house. The hardware allows you to pair the wall mounting E120 with the Q Acoustics range of in-ceiling or in-wall speakers. Once installed into the living space wall, or all the cabling is supplied of course, and connected to chosen speakers, you can wirelessly stream music from all kinds of different music services via Bluetooth from compatible devices such as your smartphones and your DAPs and your laptops and your tablets. Bluetooth 5 is fully supported and radio fans can enjoy broadcasts over DAB Plus or FM and you get five presets to boot. You can connect to a TV while a rear analog audio output can be configured to plug into a subwoofer. Now this system is also IP54 rated and that means that you can install this system into your bathroom and also your kitchen or where humidity is high. So it's no surprise that you also get a splash proof remote control. The little wall mounted control panel, well that offers touch sensitive controls and a 3.2 inch color display that shows the track artist and album name. An internal light sensor can be configured to automatically set the display brightness. The price is £429 just for the control unit and obviously if you want to bundle some speakers in with that you're going to be paying more. To give you a rough idea, well you can get a bundle for £499 and that can range up to £600. And 99 pounds. News item number three is from Melco and we have a network switch featuring a separate linear power supply. The new S10, because that's what it's called, the S10, 
comprises a head unit and a power unit and is based on a heavily upgraded S100 network switch, but with an improved power management section. The head unit's casework has also been improved with better quality aluminium for the casework to improve rigidity and also increase isolation. The rear panel connections include different speed RJ45 Ethernet ports. You get four 100 megabyte ports and four one gigabyte ports. Useful for a room core processor, which generates high traffic flow. In addition, you get two one gigabyte small form factor. They're included for direct fiber connections and compatibility with supported devices. Inside this thing is a large toroidal transformer that forms the bulk of the S10's power unit. Further features include Nutric connectors on the output section. The S10 network switch is, well, it's fairly pricey, comes in black or silver, and you can buy it for £4,999. And next off the belt is a Technics turntable. We're looking at the 50th anniversary of the SL1200 DJ turntable. This one is based on the 2019 release, the SL1200 Mark 7. The new direct drive turntables will be available in seven limited edition colors. And that's really what we're talking about here. The colors, that's what you're getting with these limited edition devices. So you're looking at black and red, blue, white, green, yellow, and beige, which have been selected too. And I quote, reflect the street culture that gave birth to DJing. Although, you know, I'm really not quite sure what that means. Is street culture green, for example? Perhaps street culture changes colour with the seasons, maybe. Like trees. On that basis, shouldn't there be a dirty brown in the colour selection? I'm not sure. But back to the metal. The SL1200M7L tone arm, well, they're anodized in a golden hue, which obviously, no doubt, reflects the romantic sunset that you normally find in typical street culture. You'll also find engraved serial numbers on each individual piece and a gold colored slip mat with a Technics logo. Price for this one is £899.99p, and but look, what's a penny between friends? Call it £900, hey. To find out more and to be directed to your nearest street culture, check out the description below for a link. Next up is Macintosh, and Macintosh has announced that its MX100 AV processor, well, that now works with Control 4, a smart home brand. And there's been champagne corks a popping, and that news, let me tell you. Smart Home Audio is, of course, a key part of Control 4, with native support for most streaming services and high-resolution audio. With Control 4 OS 3, all of the devices in a media room, home cinema, include audio components, speakers, and can be accessed via connected touchscreens, remotes, keypads, and the Control 4 app. The 11.2-channel MX100 from Macintosh is designed for home cinemas, 
needing digital-only inputs and is suited for installation in a discrete AV equipment rack. The MX100 has four HDMI inputs, one HDMI output, and supports a variety of home cinema technologies, such as, I don't know, Dolby Atmos is in there, DTS-X, and HDR, and all that jazz. The MX100 is priced at £6,995. Next up, we're talking cars and KEF. KEF and cars. KEF has added high-end audio to the similarly high-end all-electric Lotus Electra Hyper SUV. I think you pronounce it Electra. The Lotus Electra is a pure electric SUV, a four-wheel drive car with a battery capacity of over 100 kilowatt hours and with power rated at 600 bhp. This is Lotus's first five-door production car. It's also the first model outside its normal sports car area. And it's the company's first lifestyle electric vehicle. And according to the company, the most connected Lotus ever. As for KEF, well, it's included a 1,380 watt 15 speaker system with its UniQ and surround sound technologies stuffed inside. The UniQ combines both tweeter and mid-range drivers into a single point source. Now, if you're a Lotus customer with loads of dosh, and you take one look at this KEF system and you say, huh, is that all there is? Well, you can upgrade to the KEF reference system. That's a 2,160 watt 23 speaker system with the same UniQ and 3D surround technology. The KEF reference option also features the new Unicore technology, which we've already talked about. I think it was in the last Hi-Fi news video, I seem to recall. Both KEF Premium and KEF Reference Audio System options feature partially exposed speakers in the doors. The price, well, for the car as a whole, including these speakers, you're looking at upwards of £100,000. In a couple of years, just as a little extra bit of info for you if you're a petrol head or a plug head. Is that what you call them? What do you call petrol heads who are into electric cars? Electro man, that sounds nice, sounds rather superhero. Anyway, in two years, this car will be upgraded to 900 bhp with a 0 to 60 time of around two and a half seconds, which is almost as fast as my Bosch electric kettle. For our next news story, we're saying goodbye. And we're saying goodbye to a pair of speakers from Eclipse, the top of the range TD712Z Mark IIs. They're going. They have an early retirement, and this early retirement is coming sooner than expected due to delays in introducing its replacement caused by the pandemic and schedule disruptions. For those who are now in floods of tears, be of good cheer because the company is actively working on a brand new flagship. Originally launched 18 years ago in, what would that be, 2004, as the largest model in the range, the TD712Z benefited from a 12 centimeter full range drive unit. The Mark II version emerged later in 2009, offering a wider frequency response and improved off-axis support. The Mark II's discontinuation effectively ushers in Eclipse's TD510 Mark II as the new interim flagship. So if you're in the market, Eclipse retailers have limited, well, actually very limited supplies of the 712Z Mark IIs. So grab them while you can. Get them while they're hot. Otherwise, they will be not. Oh, price? Well, you're looking at about £7,000 a pair. Next, well, more speakers. And this time we're looking at a company called Estelon. Again, I think that's how you pronounce it. Estelon. I'll 
I'll put the name below. You can work it out for yourself. Two speakers. Well, these are more AV related center speakers. One's called the X Centro. And then there's the Diamond Mark IIs. These are both variants of the center speaker option. And let me see, the X Centro Mark II, well, that comes with a ceramic inverted dome tweeter. The Diamond Mark II comes with a diamond tweeter, oddly enough. Like all X Series models from the company, it uses drivers designed and produced by the German driver manufacturer, Teal. So what you get is the tweeter in the middle and then either side you get two 158 millimeter or seven inch ceramic mid base units. The X Centro uses ceramic 25 millimeter, which is one inch inverted dome alpha corundum tweeter, while the Diamonds also one inch 25 millimeter tweeter uses a chemical vapor deposited diamond membrane tweeter from Accuton. The X Centro Mark II crossover is revised and it features new and improved resistors and capacitors. The new internal cabling is provided by Kubala Sosna and all filter components are connected directly via point-to-point -point techniques hand soldered with silver solder while using the shortest possible cable runs between drivers crossover and binding posts. The Xcentro Mark II's integrated stand is milled from a thick billet aluminium. The base is then attached to the aluminium tube and that secures the speaker. Prices, well I've got a range of prices for you this time. The Xcentro Mark II we're looking at 15,000 euros. In the US we're looking at $18,000. This is one expensive center speaker. The Diamond Mark II is even more expensive at €21,000 or $27,000. Now, if you're still in shock by those prices, let me relax you a little bit. Let me bring you back down to earth. Can I ask you to relax, just to sit back and reach out that hand for that packet of popcorn? Because we're going to take a little look at a video. Well, I'll give you a bit of a sneaky peek, shall I? This is from Gold Note, the hi-fi manufacturer from Italy and they do some very nice turntables and phono amps and the like. Now this particular company has produced a series of how it's made videos. This new mini series gives you a sneaky behind the scenes look at what the company is up to. Here you can take a look at the secrets of the production department and I'm going to give you a quick excerpt of a video based on the production of the A6 Evo 2 speakers. So, have a little look at this and I'll see you on the other side. I hope you enjoyed that. And there's nothing like it when a plan comes together, hey, and you can see it actually in action. As I say, hope you enjoyed that, and that's your lot for this particular episode. But I've got a lot more to offer you. In fact, a whole heap, which I will give you next time around, I reckon. And I think there's even some more video in there, so invest in a new bag of popcorn. That's my advice. So before you go, I just want to thank you for all of your support, and if you haven't done so already, if you'd 
care to click down below at the like and subscribe buttons and don't forget downstairs in the description there will be a host of live links you can navigate around this video and click on those chapter headings which for this sort of video is probably a good idea i reckon and there's all kinds of other links down there too links to my facebook group which you're welcome to join and also my website which has all kinds of editorial you won't find here then there's my patreon page which keeps this youtube in action without patreon this doesn't exist so you don't get your videos if you can have a little think about possibly supporting me as a thank you back i have just started well i've started a hi-fi tour so if you want to check out my entire hi-fi collection well part one is already up there and i'm already obviously thinking about part two so check that out there's all kinds of other stuff there too there are exclusive feature articles there are buyer's guides up there and there's some more videos there's uh music magazine type videos and there's a very nice buyer's guide relating to cleaning your stylus there's some well there's a couple of revelations in that particular guide as well you might want to check that out anyway i'm going on a bit aren't i so i will stop here and i will ask you to well join me on another video uh tuesday tuneful tuesday that's when i'll be back and I will be looking at a magazine. I'll be looking at vinyl news, and there'll be a couple of CD reviews, and even a couple of books. So, please join me then. As I say, great to have your company. I'd be lost without you. Until that time, folks. Bye-bye for now.